companies that had a more fixed labor cost looked at the ones that were more variable and said, oh, well, I want to do more of that. And so that might, and again, we don't have the data, but that might yield more companies using more on-demand labor, maybe. That is the tailwind pushing this market forward, but it is being pushed forward in the face of a very powerful headwind, and that is California's AB5. And again, the other states that will, once they get back to steady state, pass similar legislation. And that is pushing the market down. And so if you had to ask me which is gonna prevail, Peter, I would tell you over the next 10 years, I think the on-demand market will shrink. Because here's what I can also tell you now, now we'll get into anecdote and stories. As the person running work market for a 10 year period, I had every incentive for every company to move more workers to an on-demand context. And I sat in maybe a thousand sales meetings. Here is what I never once heard, never once over those thousand sales meetings. Hey, we're gonna take our W2 workers and move them to 1099, so we need your software. No company ever has ever said that. That to me, I should say. And if they were doing it, I would hear about it because I am the only piece of software to manage. <laughs> But here's a conversation I have heard maybe a hundred times. Hey, you know, we have all these 1099s and we're getting very uncomfortable with the regulatory environment and we want to move them to W-2 workers. So either we're going to stop having a conversation with you about using your software so we can end the sales cycle, or we currently use your software and we're going to stop using it because we're going to convert all the 1099s to W-2s, to which we would say, actually, you can use our software to manage your W-2s as long as it's in a task-based context. So we didn't lose many customers over it, but we saw a lot of customers transition from 1099 payments to W-2 payments. Those are things that actually happened versus the notion that people have that companies come in and go, oh, I just took this thing called an Uber. Let's do that with our workforce. That hasn't happened that I've ever seen. And again, I am at the center of this, so I'm highly confident in saying that if somebody were doing it, we would know about it. 